Hey, what's going on guys? Hope all you are doing. Welcome to a brand video tutorial from IP News. Today we're going to talk about the canvas, the HTML5 canvas technology and how can we use it and why we need to use it. So let's say, like for example, you've been through like, you've seen a website, a really nice website. When you get into that website, like you saw a really nice particles in the background and they're like, if you can take a look at my website, abuse.com, you're going to find like a couple of particles roaming in the background in here, like with this foreground text. And you might be wondering, you might have been wondering, like, how can I do these particle things? How can I make my web page looks something like this, similar to this, which it's, which is like pretty much a great deal to do with it. So this all has been done or is being done using the canvas technology. I know you can use other things like WebGL, but we're not talking about that, this. You can use the Canvas because it's way much more easier and it's higher level API rather than using or dealing with WebGL, which is the low level API. Anyway, so for this one, we're going to just set up a tutorial or getting started. And for the environment, we're going to use Webpack and Node.js, of course, uh, because why are you using Webpack? Because we're going to need a dependency manager and Webpack is a great, great deal for this. Also, Node.js for like dealing with a couple of libraries out there, downloading and importing uh, JavaScript modules and all of this kind of stuff. Node.js makes your life easier. So for the time being, if you are intending to use a JavaScript or to create a new JavaScript project, Node.js should be part of this project because it's really important. So if you don't have Node.js or Webpack installed, make sure to go to the official website, Node.js org and just download the latest stable version or the current version on start if you're on windows or linux it kind of gives you the it's cross platform of course so download whatever you version you have and yeah you're good to go for the webpack also you can just get started webpack isn't really gonna need to you to install because webpack is a module available on the node.js on the npm so as soon as you get node.js you can then download or require or import a webpack into your project. So I'm going to walk you through that in a second. So this we're going to achieve in this tutorial, this or this series is going to have a couple of tutorials. This is the first one I'm going to walk through the getting started and set up the environment and talk you about how you can render a simple circle or a simple rectangle on the screen using the canvas API. And on the next one, we're going to talk about the collisions and all of this kind of stuff and create a really nice astonishing particles or circles effects when you hover over them and which gonna like part a full text using a couple of circles or a lot of circles actually so this is gonna be very nice for that so now let's get just start doing that so in Visual Studio Code I'm going to use Visual Studio Code in here please make sure to use the favorite editor I really like Visual Studio Code for this sake of this story now here we're gonna open up a folder or we're gonna create a new folder for that so I'm going to go to the HD docs, choose whatever place you like. I'm going to enter tutorials and I'm going to name this particles. So I'm going to name this canvas. Okay, canvas should be just particles. Okay, like this, that would be nice for me. Call it whatever you want. So this is like the project, the main projects, hierarchy and the folder. So you can choose your folders in here and therefore firstly we're gonna need to use or we need to get node.js installed in this therefore we're gonna just do it go ahead and use npm install make sure you are on the current directory of your project now it's gonna go ahead and install npm for us so we just gonna need to wait a bit for that to complete actually uh, it, it, you guys can see get a packet .json .log. now we need to create of course like a file or the index html file so if we go back onto the uh, webpack page and just on the documentation and the getting started section so it walks you through how you can get started in there so i believe it is under the i don't quite remember what is that so the concept so let me google this out very quick so webpack getting started so whatever you want to set up a webpack you can reference this tutorial because this is the documentation or the official documentation actually so you can create a create a webpack demo and initialize npm this is what i've got to to do of course 
and of course you create a webpack.json and like create the index.html file and then you can organize yourself so you can put the index.js which is going to be the render the main render under the src or something like this and you can just bundle this out or acquire it and create a configuration file so as simple as that this is what you can do about it very very simple of course you can use leo leo dash this like the uh, basic like modular for webpack from node.js of course then you can just bundle all your things using webpack into a single javascript file so it's gonna run all of your dependencies in here it's gonna be very simple as i've said and very nice using webpack so let's get back into here and now we're gonna create the projects as we have said so let's go back up here again and now we create the webpack demo we initialize so let's initialize npm in it and y means yes so save everything in for local development environments as you can see now we get the package.json now let's create our new files i'm going to put a new folder in here called src and under src i'm going to put an index.js this is going to be the main render and here we're going to put another file folder and called distribution and this is like where our public uh, file is going to live so the html5 and of course we're going to put the bundle.js we're going to compile using webpack in, in this distribution folder so i'm going to call it index.html i'm going to use the html boiler palette um, extension for creating that make sure to get it from the extension store on the visual studio code and therefore here we are going to create or or leo the script so First, we need to create the script first. So we have the index.js, we have distribution. What you can do is create a configuration file for Webpack. So in order like you run a watch, it gonna keeps watching your li your files whenever a save or whenever an edit uh, gonna be done on your any any one of your files, it gonna like recompile all your files and put them in the bundle.js for you. So without further ado, this is gonna be very simple for you. Therefore, we need to create a JavaScript or a Webpack configuration file. To do that, it's going to be very simple. So you can you can go ahead and do, uh, probably believe is up in here. So now that I think about this, um, it's not covering this out. So I have a Webpack project in here. This is like my side project. So you can use it as well. So let me just, or this is like we, what we're going to, cover at the at the end of this tutorial series so this is the configuration file i'm just gonna copy it so open or reveal on explorer and i'm just gonna copy this webpack configuration file make sure to do the same for your projects so i'm just gonna put it in here make sure it lives under the like the main file so or the main directory of your project webpack dash configuration dot configuration dot js and here it is it just have the entry so this is like the main entry file so to let webpack compile or start compiling from the entry file and here we specify index.js under the src so make sure to specify yours of the right directory and the output going to be the file name of the output under the distribution i'm going to put it into the distribution and bundle.js so this is going to be our compiled javascript webpack modulars extension or Whatever. So the watch, we're going to put this to true, so we can use npm run watch to run watch for our files as I've said. So let's quickly do that, going by going to the package.json and under script, here where you can add your custom script. And here I'm going to add a script called watch, and for that we're going to call it a webpack. As simple as that, it's going to compile for us, and I believe webpack watch. So yeah, uh, as I've said yeah webpack dash dash watch it is the same thing so make sure to put that in here webpack and the watch option in order to make it like gonna watch for you um yeah this is it now whenever we clear with clear npm run watch it's gonna run the file watch for us so here all everything should be set up correctly so local package package did not view me to install it so as i've said you need to run npm install before that 
So I haven't done this before. Make sure to do it before doing anything else. Install all the required modules. Everything is up to date. Now npm run watch again. And use the run command to run a specific script. But still getting this problem for this error that's let's check this out. So we have scripts. This is probably not a problem at the end. There's like the additional webpack is not recognized as an internal or external command. So we don't have webpack in here because we haven't included webpack. I'm sorry for this guy. So you have to do is require or use npm install webpack. So this is gonna install webpack for us in Walkly. And you can what you can do is actually use the command npm install webpack this and webpack and dash 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 save in here so when you use the save option it's gonna just save it or not the save option actually save dev it's gonna just save it for for your local dev so whenever you deploy your project into like kind of a server your real-time server or your business server this is not gonna be deployed the webpack is not gonna be deployed it's just gonna be available under the development server so in your local machine only now after the webpack module has been successfully installed you can now run npm run watch for watching your javascript files now everything is set up correctly now what we actually need to do is include the bundle so as you can see we have compiled or creating new bundle.js this is gonna have all our modules so this is what we need to include in on our html5 so we're gonna include this src and bundle.js so this bundle.js is gonna compile all the things happens under the index.js you can also require or include a lot of other files soon just not only one so this is like webpack does so this is the index.js what this is our file, our render file. So that just allows something in here just for testing purposes, like making sure everything is working fine. So now make sure like when you click save, you're gonna see something change in here. And when you're running the watch, it's gonna automatically compile your files for you. Now going into the browser again, and we need to open up this so let me just quickly control p opening default browser this is an extension i'm using just to quickly open things as you can see testing is working so everything is working the webpack the node.js everything is working and our project is set up correctly for us now here i'm just gonna talk about a quick things about the canvas so make sure to include the script after declaring the canvas elements so to make sure like the canvas get created before the script get called so if you can use jquery for this sake of that but i'm not using this in, in in here so we can use canvas and we can give it id like main canvas and yeah this is all you need to set up the canvas elements in the html file now into the index we need to reference our canvas and create a context for rendering using the canvas api so for that we can call as variable and we can call it the canvas so equals documents dot get element by id like very basic you can use as i said jquery and what you can do is you can use npm like run npm npm install jquery then you can include or require here require jquery as simple as that and it's going to be included in your project as simple as that that's why using npm on any project is very essential nowadays now it's gonna be called like main canvas so here we need to get the context I'm just gonna call it CTX short for the context and I'm gonna call this on use the canvas so canvas dot get context okay get I don't know what's going on here is just okay here we are returning the concepts and make sure to specify the parameter here we are using the 2d 
contacts so make sure to set up the 2d there's also 3d but it's not mostly used the 2d is the most used one now for the context this our context we have gotten everything successfully now let's just run this again and make sure to open up the dev tools if you are in chrome to make sure that everything is working fine no errors in here no exceptions nothing at all like make sure everything is working fine on your project so the context has been retrieved successfully now what we can do is render something to the screen and to render all you need to do is call the context and use the began path it's from the API and this began path like kind of tells web gonna tell us the canvas where to start drawings like we are starting a drawing as like a new path like if you want to draw a text or like linked lines so when you call this begin path you gonna call all if your links path statements in here or structures in here so when you finish call close path or well, it's not very obvious but when it begin path gonna get called again so it's gonna close the path automatically if you, if you can get the point of this so we are going to render a simple rectangle in here so to do that just call context and rect this function gonna render us a rectangle so we give it the x position the y position and the width and the height as simple as that so the x gonna call it is 5 I'm gonna put 5 and here I'm gonna put about 290 with a 140 just an arbitrary numbers and to render things I'm gonna put the stroke function so the stroke function gonna render us the stroke of this rectangle as simple as that that we should see hopefully make sure to control C and we should see a rectangle showing up in here after refreshing on the page we still we have not one problem is or we haven't implemented something is like we need to stretch or resize our canvas width and height to the actual window or the screen width and height so now the canvas is taking only about I don't know 200 pixels so we need to take the full width and the full height to do that just a trick from JavaScript if you try to do that from the CSS this is not going to work for you so I'm going to call canvas dot width and this should call it I believe so dot width I'm going to put the width in here is the window no inner width and canvas now height height equals window dot height or inner height okay now we should see everything working fine as you can see there's an over overlapping in here you can fix that using css of course and also you can add a regular css files in here to make your your web page looks a bit nicer when dealing with canvas so this was a very basic thing to render out things using the stroke and also the canvas and how to initialize it using webpack and node.js and everything is set up correctly right now and we have made sure of make sure that everything is rendering correctly using the canvas api on our project so this is hopefully it for the first tutorial thank you for watching i hope you really enjoyed in the next one we're gonna cover a few basic things so let me just show you section or snapshots what we're gonna cover or what we're gonna implement at the end of this series so let me just open up this project and as you can see there's a crazy balls in here like stretch or form up or text and when you hover all of them all of them gonna get out of the place and start roaming on the web page and as soon as you click on the space bar key on your keyboard clicking space and all of them are gonna get back into their original places and reform the actual text. As simple as that, we're gonna do that in the next or the on the of the end of this tutorial series of the canvas. So hopefully you're gonna stay tuned for the next one and keep watching the tutorials guys. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you really enjoy. I've said this again. Anyway, see you in the next one. Goodbye.